Hi everyone, Father Eric here. As the coronavirus pandemic, pandemic continues to subside, thanks be to God, Father Tollefson and I are very excited to welcome all of you back into this space as we continue to monitor the situation and to see how we can worship here at St. Hubert. And so now as the pandemic lessens, that means we are able to do more here as we come together at Mass to hear Jesus' word and to receive Jesus' life in the Eucharist. And so now as things are coming up and some major changes are coming up to how we worship here at St. Hubert, we wanted to take the time to let you know exactly what's coming up and exactly when it's going to be coming so that you can be prepared. Whether you've been coming back to Mass all throughout this last year, throughout the pandemic, or whether it's going to be you coming back to Mass for the very first time, we want you to be aware and to be prepared for what you can expect when you come to Mass here at St. Hubert. The first change in how we worship here at St. Hubert, many of you are probably already aware of, since it happened already. Since the governor's recent removal of the mask mandate, now as our principle here at St. Hubert is going to be that for those who have received the full cycle of vaccinations, which means it's been at least two weeks since your final dose of receiving one of the vaccinations, then you have the option to not wear your mask when you come to Mass here at St. Hubert. For those persons who have not yet received the full cycle of vaccinations, we still strongly recommend, along with the state and the CDC, that you wear your mask when you come to church. It's not an absolute requirement, but it's still a recommendation. On Memorial Day weekend, when you come to Mass here at St. Hubert, you're going to notice a lot more changes that will happen. Primarily because on starting Memorial Day weekend, we'll no longer have the social distancing protocols in place. So when you come to Mass at St. Hubert's, you may have noticed that ushers were here to help you, guide you into a particular pew and help seat you at a certain distance apart from other households. But on the starting Memorial Day weekend, we'll no longer have that practice. You can come into Mass and you can seat yourself. Every pew will be open and available and you'll be able to sit where you want in the midst of the pews. You can even sit next to another family within six feet if you so desire. Another exciting change that will happen is that the cry room will become available again. It had been such a tight space in the cry room that we just couldn't have it open while social distancing protocols were in place. But since those protocols are no longer in place, the cry room will be available again. When it comes to Holy Communion, starting Memorial Day weekend, we will return to our regular flow. Instead of going section by section to receive our Lord, now we'll go back to what we had before, where each section will be coming together and approaching our Lord as you come to receive Holy Communion. Keep in mind that our extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will still be either washing or sanitizing their hands before they come forward to help distribute our Lord. And then finally, after Mass, you notice that the ushers had been dismissing you pew by pew, starting in the back of the sections. But starting Memorial Day weekend, that won't be the case anymore. You'll be able to stay or to go after Mass at your will. You can stay and pray your Thanksgiving here in church if you wish. You can even come and stop and socialize in the narthex or in the hallways after Mass. Or if you just want to get off to brunch or whatever it is you're going to on Sunday morning, you can just head right out. While many of these changes are going to be happening on Memorial Day weekend, keep in mind that there are many people out there who are still living in fear, who still are afraid and are trying to tiptoe back into the world. And so at St. Hubert, we have a place for those persons who still desire a little bit more of the protocols in place or a little bit more distancing when they come into a public area. And so our Saturday 5.15 p.m. Mass is still going to have many of these protocols in place. We ask that when you come to the 515 Mass, that you still wear a mask, and that we will still have every other pew closed at the 515 Mass to create that social distancing. And so we'll keep our 515 Mass, at least for now, as a place for those who still want more of those protocols in place. As we monitor the situation over the summer, we may revisit it, but keep that in mind, that the 515 Mass, these protocols will remain even after later. On Independence Day weekend, you're going to notice a few more changes that are happening in how we worship at St. Hubert's. The first big change that you'll notice that weekend is about our singing. You've noticed that, that we've been slowly, slowly, slowly bringing singing back into our worship here at Mass. 
So beginning on Memorial Day weekend, we'll actually start to hand out a smaller worship aid so that you can sing along with some of the responsorial psalms and some of the mass parts. And you'll have the notation and the words in front of you to help sing those parts. Beginning Independence Day weekend, we'll be able to sing our hearts out with all of the hymns, all of the Gloria, all of the mass parts, and everything that you want to sing, you'll be able to sing your hearts out beginning Independence Day weekend. And that same weekend, we'll also reintroduce a couple of smaller changes, but are things that I know people have appreciated in the past. The first is that first we'll be passing the collection baskets around from, from person to person and from pew to pew. I know this is a great way for us to participate in the offering of Mass, and it's a great way to continue to support all of the ministries and the work that we do here at St. Hubert's. We couldn't do it without your generous support that will come through the passing of the collection baskets. We'll also begin asking family members to process the gifts of bread and wine and water down the aisle and give them to our clergy at the steps of the sanctuary once more. It's a great symbolic act of the people bringing their offering to the priest so that he can present it to God. And I, for my part, am excited to receive that offering from you once more on Independence Day weekend. And then finally, on Independence Day weekend, we'll be able to reintroduce the sign of peace. Now, I know many of you have been doing it within your families during this time, and that's okay. But during Independence Day weekend, we'll have the deacon or the priest, whoever's present, give that invitation once more to let us offer one another the sign of peace. And then you'll be able to offer that sign of peace to those out beyond your own household. We don't have to run all the way across the church to offer everybody the sign of peace. We can just do it with those who are right around us. But we'll have that invitation, and we'll have that moment to be united as a body of Christ as we then approach to receive the very body of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. And that's what you be able to And that's what you can expect. The masks are already have that option to be removed for those who are fully vaccinated. Memorial Day weekend is a big weekend with the removal of all those social distancing protocols. And then Independence Day weekend will be another exciting weekend where with some of those other smaller introductions and as well as being able to sing everything. Keep in mind that the dispensation to attend Sunday Mass is still suspended. We don't know when the bishops of Minnesota are going to reinstate the obligation. And so until that time, we will continue to live stream our Sunday liturgies as well as our daily masses as well. And so if you or someone in your household are still feeling sick or feeling like you're not ready to yet come back to Mass, connect with us on our live stream masses. It's at 8.30 on Sunday mornings or connect with it throughout the rest of the day that day. Otherwise, we are very excited to welcome you back into a freer worship of our Lord Jesus Christ here at St. Hubert's, and to be able to hear his word, to receive his body together as the body of Christ, united even more closely. We're just very excited to be able to welcome you back here to St. Hubert.